Newcastle North End are really flying high. They were equal top of the table last Tuesday, but then lost 3-1 away to Bournemouth. But they'll be looking to really re repair the damage of that result and emulate their performance at the end of December, only a month ago, when, quite frankly, they annihilated Drexel. The superb first half performance. The quality down the flanks in Ayres and in Cartwright, and they really stretched Wrexham in that first half. Preston kicking towards the cop end. This is Macken, dispossessed by Bramman. First touch for Cartwright, looking to bring Griffiths into the action. Whitley gets his first touch at the race course. And you see how Wrexham are lining up. I might have expected Brammer to play that uh, anchor role, which Ward usually plays. Cartwright underneath it. So Nasty and Jackson scores. Well, Mark Cartwright unhappy. He felt he was climbed on. But Jackson rises above the crowd and plants a simple header into the roof of the net and it's a nightmare to start for Wrexham six minutes gone a straightforward manoeuvre Ayres planting a ball into the goal mouth and gets him out of trouble Harrison's uh, on over Middlesbrough and his quality really shows Gregan Preston have been delighted with the performances of Harrison and Hardy under pressure here from Logan. The head is short. Logan pull it back where he wants to, to Cartwright. Well, he did it. Should have done better. All prayer to Mark Cartwright who forced Logan wide. But that short back header by Hardy for Wrexham with all sorts of problems. And the cop are unhappy with what they're seeing in front of them. Obvious targets. These are shorts and stairs. Harrison, Rankin, who's a real non-stop runner, he's got beyond Brammer. Swung in by Ayres, dangerous, he can't touch there, and that's two, Logan, he's a deadly finisher, he didn't need a second invitation, again Preston's impressive width, exploits Wrexham, just so did a deep deal last month, good early ball in by Ayres, and his wing partner, Cartwright, nods it down. Logan dashes it into the net. Looking for an angle, Ayres will be the one to provide it in the air. He's only taking his time, the referee finally ties with that. And the ball is dinked in pretty straight. Oh, it's come all the way through, though. Spink gets it half away. And Hardy completes the clearance, but again, really, that was a pretty straightforward ball into the box. Which is allowed through further than it ought to have been. Nogan gets a touch on to Macken. Well, the problems really came from Maxim's failure to clear that free kick. And this is turning into a disaster. Jonathan Macken finishing well as left foot after Nogan well, helped it on nicely. But for Maxim, this really is turning into a disaster. We've not yet had half an hour, and already they're 3-0 down. Preston half ends, confidence growing of every minute. Powerful Preston North End side, Brammer drives it in. Too close to the keeper. Nixon definitely needs something to go their way just to end the humiliation. Launching it for Chalk. It's a cracking pass. Brammer looks the one man who might be able to kickstart some of Wrexham. McGregor. Back to Whitley. He's lining up his shots, but never got on top of it. This is willing to have a pop. It's 
Lindley's debut at Colchester, of course. McGregor looking for movements. Mons forthcoming. Grammer hooks it over the top. Harrison away. Logan has got Rankin going ahead of him. This is dangerous. Carr tries on the overlap. He plays a nice ball in. Macken got caught between his feet. And it was a last ditch challenge. Rammer and Carey lunge again, which saved Exxon from further disaster. An intuitive ball by Rankin out to Carter on the flank. And a neat ball in. And judging by the handshake down in the penalty area, I think it was Brammer who got the foot in on Macken. Airs of the corner. They scores with their first corner. Oh, and off the line again. Macken straight back in. It's Connolly back there. Second time Ayers has nearly scored direct from the corner. Off kid to car tries. Hardy. Early ball looking for Griffiths. Comes out to Chalk. Double the space. Tries to curl it in. Lucas gathered well. All good to take. Just bouncing in front of him. Could have skidded under his body. Tidying up in midfield. It's still up there. Lining up the far post if Hardy can deliver. Does the right thing. Well away by Jackson. Russell tries to turn around the corner and well, played Hardy short and he's taken a knock from Cartwright. Rankin can break now. Rolls a nice ball in. Macken runs it near post. Morgan drives it in. Oh, good save by Cartwright. Superb last ditch stop by the feet of Cartwright to rescue Wrexham from conceding a fourth goal in the second minute of the first second half. Keep pressing the bait. That will be a bonus. Conley gets a lucky bounce there and takes it into the box. Lucky bounce again. It's a goal. Oh, good efforts. But Lucas, he's been in the England 21 squad and he really was too agile to be beaten on the post like that. Brown struck it well. Lucas drops it and Griffiths was predatory, but Lucas dropped on it well. Typically clean strike by Brammer. Macken looks to be the out ball. He's the target. So Greg wins this. Brammer gives it back. It's all a bit tight in there. Chalk towards Conley. Regan backs in as well. As we launched away in the end. Oh, and Carey's had it. Puts Nogan in. Early ball in again. Cartwright did ever so well. Good save. Mark Cartwright denies his namesake. But Lee Cartwright did ever so well to get in front of the first defender. It's typical, good attacking play, attacking the near post. There's the target at the far post. Good hairs, great goal. That's a superb finish by Ayers. The long ball in by Derby. That diagonal ball undid Wrexham so many times down at Deepdale. And it's happened again, but what a stupendous leap by Ayers. Well, I said earlier on that Ayers often caused Rex some problems over the years. He's done it again. What a tremendous leap it was. McGregor well, was never in contention. Well, but Lee, well, he's... Well, that's a goal. Well, no, that's a goal. I don't see the logic in that decision. I'm sure Whitley didn't intend this, but surely that's a goal. Drop ball. Quite sure Whitley's trying to put it behind for a goal kick. Sinks to the far post, Spinks there, heads it down. Wasn't too far off. Cop thought it was in. It's Armstrong. Neville Southall, tough match in that 5-0 loss against Everson. That was a long, long time ago. This is Harris, looking for Rankin. Oh, Spigness hits! Oh! Wow! McCuss, such a near miss. And coming back off Cartwright as well. Gibson. 
Swings it in well. Good heads. Oh, a super save by Lucas. Oh, and across the face of the rebound. Nothing going right for Wrexham as Rush in search of that first goal for Wrexham. Rolls it agonisingly across. Here's Bramber winning the corner. But super work by Gibson down the flank. Turning, Rankin's got him behind him. Kenner to Harris. Kenner yeah, got an important foot in, even though he's wrong footed. Rankin surely foul Bramer. Well, and the ball drops through. Harris sees a chance. Spink uses strength, but Harris still there. Good save by Cartwright. Although, honestly, really, surely it's a foul on Bramer that starts that move. Harris, though, puts off first by the sheer strength of Spink and then by the agility of Mark Cartwright, who in the second half, let's get the score down. There's with the corner. Swinging well. Oh, and a 10. The marking was poor. And Wrexham's disappointment is complete. As swinging a 10.